بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أيها الأحبة as a reminder to myself and my brothers in Islam we have to remember the importance of the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم and we've heard this countless times but it really doesn't matter we have to remind ourselves over and over when practicing Islam to make sure that the path and the way that we're illustrating and we're striving to adhere to is the correct path. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِنَّ هَذِ صِرَاتِ مُسْتَقِيمِ صِرَاتِ مُسْتَقِيمِ فَاعْتَبِئُوا لَا تَعْتَبِئُوا السُّبُولِ That verily this is my straight path. So follow it and do not follow the various paths. أَيُّ الْحَبَّ Following the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam means adhering to the way of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een. The Prophet alayhi afdal salatu wasalam said, خَيْرَ النَّاسِ قَرْنِ ثُمَّ الَّذِينَ يُلُونُهُمْ ثُمَّ الَّذِينَ يُلُونُهُمْ The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said in Sahih Muslim that the best of those, uh, the best of generations is my generation. Then those who follow them, then those who follow them. Ayyul Ahabba Understanding and going back to the text with the correct understanding is imperative because so many people are calling to this and calling to that but it's not in accordance with the madhab of the salaf of this ummah Ayyul Ahabba the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said If tarakat al-yahud ala ithna wa sabayin firqa wa if tarakat al-nasara ala ithnatayn wa sabayin firqa wa sa taftariku hathi umma ala thalatha wa sabayin firqa kullu ha fin nara la wahida kullu man hiya ya rasulullah qala man kana ala mithi ma kana alayhi wa ashabi al-yawm the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the Jews broke into 71 sects the Christians broke into 72 sects and my nation will break into 73 sects all of them in the fire except one the messenger of Allah said it all of them in the fire even our ummah people from our ummah but if they died upon Islam and Tawheed they'll be out of the fire from amongst the Muslims all of them in the fire except one then the uh, the, the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een said who are they ya Rasulullah qala min kana ala mithi ma kana alayhi wa ashabi the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said those those that are on my sunnah and the way of my companions radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also said alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnatu khulafa rashidin al mahdiin adhu alayha bi nawajid wa iyaakum wa muhtathar al amur the Prophet ﷺ gave us a prescription in our life for how we can deal with everything as a Muslim. He said, Alaykum bi sunnati, it's upon you my sunnah. And the sunnah of the rightly guided Khalifa, meaning Abu Bakr wa Umar wa Uthman wa Ali, radiallahu ta'ala anu majma'een. Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnatu khulafa rashidin al mahdi. Adu alayha bin nawajith. Adhere to it with your molar teeth. And beware of newly invented manners. For every innovation is misguidance. Subhanallah. Where did the people get the understanding of bid'ah hasana? It doesn't come from the statements of the Messenger of Allah. And not from the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah. Because they realize that all bid'ah, anything which is not, does not have a, a root in this religion and you attribute it to the religion, it's going astray. That's how they understood it. Using the term bid'a hasana, as Umar bin al-Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu did, or Ibn Umar, whichever of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu, may Allah forgive me for forgetting, made the statement, ni'matu bid, bid'atan hadhi, hadhi, or kama qal, that he said that this is a good bid'a. And the ulama explain the term, the use of the term bid'ah here. Ni'matu bid'ah is referring to bid'ah lughawiya, meaning as a, not as an Islamic term, but as a term in reference to the language. 
And what I mean by this, Ya Ayyul Habba, for example, right now we're looking to the video screen and the video camera. This is a bid'a as far as in the language. It's something new. It didn't exist before. The television only has so much life. The sweatshirt, it has not been around for more than 50 years perhaps, or however long it's been, been around, 20, 30, 40 years. And those are bid'a that do not relate to the religion, but they're bid'a logui, meaning that it is something using the term bid'a in reference to something that is new. But ayyu al habba, that is the best ta'wil to understand that hadith. It's not uh, that you understand that something new, that tarawih in which Umar was, or Ibn Umar was, radiallahu ta'ala anhumah, was referring to. He was not referring to something new in the religion, but he was referring to something that the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa did and left, and that the people had, had begun, one of the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een, had come up with the, the reviving that. That was a revival, ayyu al habba not something that was never mashroor in the religion. So ayyu al habba adhere to the Qur'an, adhere to the Sunnah, adhere to the way of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een, and we'll have success. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.